Okay, it looks like it's working. I got a solid green light, everybody. All right, welcome one and all to uh, a surprise Thursday morning live stream. I didn't uh, tell anyone I was doing this, but uh, yesterday I couldn't do my broadcast for a variety of reasons related to internet issues and lack of sleep, among other things. Hold on, my camera's messed up. Anyway, so uh, look, I didn't want to deprive you guys of our Baldur's Gate 3 day. So here we are, uh, Thursday morning. I'm doing a live stream of Baldur's Gate 3. Scotch and Smoke Rings is on schedule for tonight. Don't worry, I'm not canceling it. I'm not delaying it. We will continue with System Shock, picking up right where we left off last week uh, at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Unless I fall asleep and need to delay it till 9 or something like that but we're probably going to do it at 7 o'clock p.m pacific time but for right now we're doing some baldur's gate we are into act two i'm excited to be into act two i'm ready to explore act two i believe we had just uh, arrived at an oasis a stopping point within this shadow realm and we were exploring the place, and we found a key by a chimney on top of a roof, and we found some monsters in a basement that each had 50 HP, so I don't even know if I want to bother attacking them, but I probably should for the sake of being completionist. And then we talked to the elf lady, and then she said we needed to talk to a cleric. So we're going to go talk to this cleric and see exactly what she has to say before moving on. Good to see everybody on uh, Facebook today. Harold J. Toby Noble Jefferson Zuniga. Good to see everyone on Twitch today. Kit Cowling, Blood Filthy, Wolf Doki, The Sims Fan Girl. And of course, it's great to see everyone on YouTube. Alt Grendel, Slatty Bartfast, John Washburn, Jersey, Thomas McCormick. Zach Taylor, Jeff Day, Ant444, Cat5, Slatty Bardfast, and it's Mr. Red with the first super chat of the day. Hey Ox, what are doctors scared of? An orchard. Apple a day. Okay. Th sorry. Just, I've uh I'm gonna be a little slow on the up upkeep on the uptick here I, like I can't even speak properly I've been up all night and that's because I'm forcing my body to get my sleep schedule back on schedule for a variety of reasons this week I have uh, been unable to sleep at an appropriate time so I uh, I powered through the night I got a lot of work done on my lore video you guys are gonna really enjoy the lore video this weekend we are finally making some progress with the railroad. I feel like we were on radiant quests and side quests for the railroad for an extended period of time, but the ball is beginning to roll. The cogs within the machine of the Institute are starting to barrel down upon the railroad and uh, things are moving. So uh, look forward to that video this weekend. We'll cover some of that. And I got a lot of progress done on that video last night, so it was well worth the time. Kit Cowling says, Woo-hoo! That golden derby is almost mine. Kit Cowling is a bronze ox and a member for 23 months. Hey, Kit Cowling, that's amazing. Almost got that uh, gold derby. I'm excited. Uh, Toby Noble says, Hey, Oxhorn, check out the game Zuchosis. Zuch Zuchosis. Cool. I'll have to check it out. Uh, I'll add it to the list. I try to f I'm trying to discern what the game might be about by the name, and I, don't, I have no idea. NCF4L says, that's not healthy, Ox. Hope you get better with your sleep. I mean, yeah, I know it's not healthy to stay up for however many hours I've been up, but it's... For one day, I'm forcing my body to get exhausted so that I'll sleep through the night 
and then I'll wake up on time in the morning. That's the strategy. I've done it in the past. It's one day of pain, and then I'm back on schedule, and I don't miss any more workouts, and I don't miss any more broadcasts. It's worth it. It's worth it. Kara Aerosmith says, Hey, Oxhorn, excited for the uh, stream today. Hope you have enough coffee, but can you ever have enough coffee? You know, I don't think you can, Kara. I don't think you can ever have enough coffee. I certainly can't. Cheers. Ant444 says, Yesterday was my birthday, and next week is Dad's death day. Could I get a smoke ship of the two of us crabbing on a boat? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you must have very fond memories of crabbing with your father on a boat. I've never been crabbing. I know that's weird to say because I grew up in Alaska and my father was a fisherman, but, <laughs> but I, I, never, I never went crabbing. He fished for herring uh, and he used giant water vacuums to do so. It was truly amazing. But uh, I, I've never gone crabbing, so uh, I'll do my best to imagine what going crabbing would be like. I, I think you're on like a red, a red boat with white trim, and you've got little cages filled with, you know, like rotting fish. And you throw them overboard, and they're attached to little buoys, and then you go away for a couple days and come back to pick them up. Is that what, is that what crabbing is? I, I'm going to guess that's what it is. All right, here we go. Pay close attention now. If you blink, you'll miss it, and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to concentrate really hard to see the redness in the boat. I'm gonna try to make smoke look red. It's 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 a skill I have, and I I rarely bring it out. But here we go. It's a red tugboat. I'm going crabbing. Here we are. There was, for the briefest of moments before your very eyes, was a red boat, and Ant 444 was on the boat with his father, and they were crabbing in exactly the way crabbers crab. I painted that image. I don't have to describe it, because it was all there in painted smoke. It was an image. It was visual. That's, that's my medium. My medium is visual. Yeah, who needs words, right? So there you go. Happy birthday, Ant444. I'm glad you've got those memories. Claire Bear 1080 or er, 1028 says, I haven't caught a live stream in forever. I love Baldur's Gate 3. Just got a new job, so hopefully I can get my derby back. Hey, Claire Bear, it's been a while, and it's good to have you back. We've been doing Baldur's Gate 3 for uh, several weeks now. I think we're on episode 20. So week 20. And we're, we just started Acts 2. <laughs> I'm slow going. I'm slow going. But I'm getting through it. NCF4L says your stream is lagging hard. Uh, and you know, I'm not seeing it on my end. And I'm not seeing anyone else complaining about it. So uh, just uh, I'll keep an eye on it. Everybody in chat, keep an eye on it as well. If, if I've got some system... Uh, instability let me know and i'll see what i can do about it slatty bartfast says hi ox a community message uh long time mod tony j tweeted he's taking an indefinite break from youtube so he won't be modding i for one will miss his irreverence uh well i'll have to check twitter because i haven't seen that yet but i also will miss his irreverence i hope everything's all right with tony he's been a a, a viewer and a mod for the chat for years now so uh, the, the we will definitely miss him and I hope I hope he's able to come back sometime but Tony if you're watching thank you so much for everything you've done for me as a youtuber and for this community uh, and I hope you have a much needed break Austin Prindable became a bronze ox thank you so mu uh, so much Austin Prindable Greg Williams says, Hey, Ox, what did one potato chip say to the other potato chip? Hey, how about we go for a dip? A 
I'm here all night. As always, you rule. Thank you, Greg Williams. Right, Claire Bear says it's lagging for her too. Okay, I, uh, I actually do see it on my end as well. Uh, the connection from my camera to my software is buttery smooth, but uh, when I see it playing back online, it is a bit choppy. It's a bit choppy. So let me see if I can tinker with something really quickly. And if that doesn't solve it, uh, maybe I'll try restarting. All right, give me a second. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to try to see if that was the issue. It I'm thinking it might have been a CPU issue and not a connection issue cuz I'm I've got a solid green light. Uh, it's not a connection issue. So I I turned off a bunch of background processes, which I probably should have done before I went live. It's not a good idea to have Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Media Encoder and After Effects and uh, 200 Chrome tabs up on the same computer that you're broadcasting in high definition to the internet so yeah I mean this is a lesson I should have learned a while ago I am a professional after all this is my job anyway that should reduce the choppiness from what I'm seeing over here it's looking pretty good Yeah, uh, it's looking pretty good. So let me know if uh, you're still seeing some choppiness and I'll see what else I can do. Jacob Smith says, yay, I made an ox live stream. So Barry Horn or Barty Horn is a bard, obviously. But what D&D &D class would you be in real life, Oxhorn? Uh, hmm. I mean, probably a bard, to be perfectly honest, because <laughs> I mean, I'm not the strongest guy in the world I, I'm I am strong but I'm not like fighter strong like I do have raw strength I, I would be good at lifting things but not necessarily good in a fight <laughs> right I, I don't know I don't know karate I don't know how to fight uh, but I, I could probably move a boulder right uh, I, don't, I don't have good agility uh, I wouldn't be good at magic because you know, I don't like magic um, I don't know maybe I'd be good well I, I never stuck with any language I tried to learn, so I probably wouldn't be good at magic. But a bard, you know, a bard is a storyteller, and that's what I do. I, I tell stories. So yeah, I'd probably go I'd probably go with a bard. That's what I would probably be in real life. Jacob's uh, thank you very much, Jacob Smith. 
The Sims fangirl says, yeah, seems okay now. Okay, so that was it. It was my CPU. I was just torturing my CPU. <laughs> NCFL4L says, oh my God, seems so good now. Thank you, Ox. You're welcome. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Grant Snyder says, how are you? I'm doing very well, Grant Snyder. Good to see you. Rhonda Simpson on uh, Facebook says, we love you, Ox. I love you as well. All right. Let's dive in. Where were we? Whoops. You can always tell when I've been shooting footage for my lore videos because I have to turn my uh, camera, my reaction camera off for that. You ever get that feeling where, where you feel like you've got an eyelash stuck in your eye? But I never do. I never do have an actual eyelash stuck in my eye. We had just talked with everybody in the building. Now we need to go talk to the cleric. I think that's where that's where we were. Oh no, I I had also just uh, romanced. What's her name? Carlac. And then I tried to romance Shadowheart as well, and I couldn't romance them both, and that bummed me out. So I I reloaded a save and I. I postponed the, the decision. Okay, may, let me let me load the correct save because I don't want to make my romantic decision just yet. That's the auto save. That's the last light in. Let's load this one. Because I believe this is where we were anyway in the story. And after I made this hard save, I think I just ran outside struck a camp so that I could, you know, have sexy times with Carlac. And, uh, don't forget to talk to Halzen. This is Cat5. Oh, yeah, yeah, we need to talk to Halzen. I think I'm going to reload this save real quick. These are all quick saves. Is that my last hard save? Yeah. That must have been my hard save. NC4FL says sexy times. Yeah, they were they were sexy times. She was hot. I mean, literally, like her body was on fire. We had to do something about it. We had to help her. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Okay. So I presume she has nothing more to say. Isabel's in her room upstairs. She'll be expecting you. Okay, uh, let's go to camp briefly and talk to Halsen. We can find him. So is he in my camp forever for the rest of the game? Okay, there's Withers. Shadowheart. Gale. There's Halson. The Shadow Curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. 
perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. Yeah, here we go. There's a flaming fist at last light. The curse has left him insensible, but he's muttering about a boy named Daniel. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. Daniel is no ordinary child. He is the very spirit of this land. If this fist knows where he is, then perhaps we can save him. Save everything. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. All right. Cool, getting some plot development with Halson. Neat. Greg Williams says, My first playthrough, I ended up romancing the Genki. Second current playthrough, I'm in a relationship with Karlak and just um, not a Gale fan. I like Gale a lot. He's hilarious. I love his personality. Uh, when I first started playing, he was really, really horny. Like, he, he really wa wanted to, uh, to hop in bed with Barty Horn. And I wasn't into that. I like him, but I don't like him. So I wanted I, I wanted to be the BFFs. I want to be BFFs with Gail, and then I wanted to date all the ladies. But I can't. I can't date all the ladies. I have to pick one. I think I'll probably pick Carlax, because she's so cool. She's just great. And I love her personality. She's as, as tough as she is, she's actually really sweet. Uh, Shadowheart, she's got a lot of baggage, I guess. She's, she's complicated. But perhaps I'll uh, get to like her a little bit more as the story continues. Uh, Lizelle is just crazy. She's, she's nuts. Um, speaking of Shadowheart, I should probably snag her back before we go and talk to the cleric. So let's get rid of Asterion. Because I don't like Asterion anyway. So... The untouchable Karlak is untouchable no more. I shake her hand, but she can still snap me in two, so uh, uh, probably safest to skip it. Yeah, uh, good idea there, Mysterian. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. <laughs> All right, I need my cleric. Poor Karlak. She can finally seek out the touch of another, only to be told she might not have much time left. Ooh. We've got something new here. Ketherick Thorm, what do you think of him? Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. And as much as I liked her helmet, when I first got it, I think I'd rather see her face in dialogue, so we'll go ahead and um, hide during dialogues. Okay, do I have everyone I want? I think so. All right, let's break camp. Faith Joestar says hello. Hello there, Faith Joestar. Good to see you. Yeah, pretty. It'll need to. Whatever I expected to find lurking in this cursed gloom certainly wasn't this. Glimmer of hope amidst the darkness. Looks like best bargains right here. Cat5 says, Ox, can I give you a few tips before you talk to the cleric? Yeah, oh, by all means. Pragmatism. Thy name is Shadowheart. 
You're not wrong, though. Best we keep our sojourn here to a minimum. Okay, so Halsen should be... There he is. Let's do a quick save. Flame Color. That's your name, isn't it? Art Color? I'm Fistula. Daniel and me are climb, climb, climbing up a tree. We, we need you, sir. One of our own's been taken, a Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the Shadowfell, yet it has not broken. Why is Shadowheart talking? Uh, d did I have Shadowheart selected? Oh, we can pass a Cleric of Shar check to say you, Art Kalag. Note the light of the lamps, the color of my face. You are not in Shadowfell anymore. Do you hear that, sir? You're safe. Without a reminder of who he is, of what he held dear, his mind will remain lost to the darkness. Uh, okay. We found a letter in his pocket. I can't seem to find it now, but he doesn't seem to have any reaction to it anyway. Held on to it for a hundred years, though. Uh, yeah, that's the letter she gave to Barty Horn in our last broadcast. If he does, he isn't sane. Okay, that's all we can do. Uh, weird. Let me get... No one stopped me yet. Barty Horn, and I, I'm trying to talk to Halsen here. <laughs> Thank you and me. Uh, I am... Climbing up a tree. It's true then. He's met Daniel. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Daniel. Any ideas? If he was able to escape the Shadowfell, then it mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him, inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. There must be another way to lift the curse. Without Daniel, no. And I don't know how I can find him without speaking to this man. I'll see what I can do. I don't deserve you, my friend. Has he shown any sign of coming to his senses? Do not give up hope just yet. As I listen. Okay, um, Cat5 is saying... Uh, buff up Ox, there will be a fight, and bad things will happen. The most important thing in the fight is to keep the cleric alive. Very bad things will happen if you don't. Oh dear. Okay. <clears throat> do I have all my spells? Ready and willing. I think I do, Let's get yeah. going. Cat5 says, make sure you have Shadowheart cast Spirit Guardian and stay near the cleric. I bet they're close. Watching us. Near Shadowheart or near the other cleric? Uh, okay. Shield of Faith. Uh, he's gonna need his mage armor. Makdeva. <laughs> Uh, 
didn't she have an ability yeah. as well? Maybe that was on a weapon that she had. Speaking of which, do right, I have all now? the right weapons equipped? We had stone. I think I do. I applaud your taste. Huh. I wish we had a bloody army. Ah, uh, then for her... Since she's wearing plate armor, let's give this to... Starvis the Drow says, have you spoken to the t uh, tiefling blacksmith here yet? Might be a good idea to do so before triggering the encounter just in case. I mean, yeah. It'll need to. Moroboro says, do take the sanctuary spell with Shadowheart. Huh? There's the spirit guardians that Can Five was talking about. Jihira wants to know about supplies. Will we make sanctuary spell? Ah, there it is. Spell is not prepared. You or an ally cannot be targeted until you attack or harm a creature. You can still take damage from area spells. Okay, so uh, you want me to prepare this one. Okay, Sanctuary. So there's Sanctuary, there's Spirit Guardian. Let's do a hard save. Rue Ronan on Twitch says, uh, have you ever played Mist Ox? When I was a kid, yeah, I played uh, Mist and Riven. Both great games. Loved every minute of them. Don't be shy. Have a gander at them. Hmm. Isabel. I didn't realize I had an audience. Oh no, is she sick? The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Hmm. And you. I've heard you're the protector of this inn. The banisher of shadows. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric.
right. <laughs> it hurts. Ooh. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. Oh dear, they're not gonna get along, are they? <laughs> Kit Cowling on Twitch says, My dad introduced me to PC gaming with Myst when I was a kid. We played the first three games of the series together as I was growing up. Good memories. I'm so glad you have those memories. Uh, uh, so many of us who were, you know, kids when, when you know, PC gaming first started, played Myst and Riven. They were really some of the first, uh, really, uh, well, the, the worlds were, were built out well. Um, the puzzles, I recall, were a bit too hard for me. Uh, it, it was difficult for me to figure out, but the satisfaction once you figured them out was so rewarding. Great little games. Um, well, before we head out, we can say anything else I should know before heading off? Ketherick is a frightening man, but you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Uh-oh. <sighs> Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. I say we follow the winged freak. <laughs> um, Isabel, do you know this man? He's a flaming fist. Or was. Came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. We can pass a wisdom check to probe his thoughts for more information. And I've only got a plus one from Jack of All Trades. But we only have to pass a six. And so we'll add Guidance from Shadowheart. Yay! swims into your mind's eye, its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Well, we'll say Marcus is trying to kidnap you, Isabel. We're going to need to fight our way out of this one. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The Absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. <laughs> Time to go, Isabel. OK. 
Okay, right. Well, the enemy is surprised. I guess uh, because I passed that wisdom check. Save Ox says chat. All right, I'm gonna do a quick save here. Uh, well, uh, by golly. Oh, dear God. Ooh, wh what are these things? Winged horrors. Two entrances. Are there any out on the balcony? Yes! Oh my god, they're on every- They're outside every single entrance here. Uh, okay. Legacy of Avernus branding smite. Possibly marks your target with light, preventing it from becoming invisible. But in this instance, light might harm him because he's like a bad darkness guy, maybe? Now I can't cast the spell. Right. Whoops. Should have done that first. Chad said to stay near to Isabel, but if I try to walk past him, that's going to provoke an attack of opportunity. So I'm going to stay here for now. Nope, oh, they just pass right through. <laughs> oh, there you go. You'll make excellent fertilizer. Why did she do that? She provoked an attack of opportunity. She whiz. All right. Gail, buddy. Okay, let's see. Uh, Use the <laughs> nether Azor blast. That would be bad. Okay, 2 to 16, 2 to 20, 8 to 48. I've got these two guys nicely grouped up here. Uh, might want to take advantage of that. This is uh, the move curse. I can get all three of them here. Uh. 
Well, I did a lot of damage to the furniture. I almost killed these guys. This dude, uh, he's at 65. into a big bear. Okay, Shadow Heart. Let's start with Spirit Guardians. Necrotic or, or Radiant? Let's do Radiant. 3 to 24 or 4 to 32. Sanctuary first on Isabel, says Dungeoneer. Uh, why? It says you or an ally can't be targeted until you attack or harm a creature. She's already attacked and harmed creatures. I mean, if I cast this on her and then she just attacks the very next turn, it's going to be a wasted turn. But you've done this before and I haven't, so, all right. Oh, yay, great. And I can still do Spirit Guardians. Last 10 turns, might as well. If I move, I get an attack of opportunity, which I don't want. But only if I go that way. Ah, uh, yeah. No, no, I get it there, too. Yeah, no matter where I move, he's going to attack me, and I don't want to get attacked, because he does lots of damage. So we're just going to end turn. opportunity. Woo! Thirteen! Oh, come on! Don't kill Gale! Oh, no! All right, uh... Sixty five per cent. Sixty five per cent. Gosh, that's just not a good percentage. Um, Hundred percent, yeah. But that removed my concentration. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna heal Gale. Oh. 
didn't s was only 11. She's effective. She's whittling, whittling him down. And he's done! He's got one HP left. They're blinded. Nice. Ooh, yeah, druids are cool. It's great, seeing a bunch of other allies attacking. He has what, he has one HP left. Well, there goes Sanctuary, right? Sanctuary blocked. Okay, Gale, uh. Well, 35% uh, chance, I'm, I mean, I've got 100% chance with that. Okay, he's done. Let me make some room here. Is moving gonna prevent Going to do an attack of opportunity? No. Look to Queen Six. Oh! Oh! Wow! Was that Halsen? What did he do? That's so cool. What did he do? That was Halsen. Call lightning, concentration, call lightning, blessing of saloon. Saloon's radiance protects against the lesser effects of the shadow curse. Oh, that's from uh, Isabel, call lightning. Me. Right. Well, they're dead. We've just got this guy. He's got nine health left. I think I might as well just thwap him a bit. Oh, come on. Blinded though, right? So he's not gonna be able to attack me if I move. Eighty 
95% chance. I missed it. And then I get a critical hit and kill him. All right, let's get out here and help everybody. So we got these two over there. Breathe deep and move. place. What can I throw? What can I throw? Oh man, I'm not near anything. Oh, I should have thought of that before. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been great? I could have thrown a chair at it. Ah, crap, I can't. Gal. Right, if I dash, I'm not going to be able to do anything when I get out here. But if I get there, that chimney's going to be in the way. I'll risk it. Swiftly now. Oh, just out of range. Ah, so annoying. Ah, man, that's frustrating. And there's no one else in range. gonna tear him up before I have a chance to. Oh yeah, I've got this guy now. Uh. Are there any on the lower levels? I don't see any. I think it's just those two. Are those two the last ones? Okay, well, I'll just run out here then. Is that as far as he could go? Wow.
Another parasite collected. It might be useful. He ran right into my barrier. <laughs> Why did he do that? Let's just go already. That's we so funny. We don't even funny. know the way to Moonrise. That's why. Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're yes, in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Uh, Chad is uh, congratulating me. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I get the impression that many of you uh, came upon this fight in your playthroughs much earlier at lower levels uh, because this fight wasn't quite as difficult as, as you guys made it sound but it could just be that you guys prepared me really well for it, so thank you all. Uh, Dungeoneer says, uh, let's just say things go very badly if Isabel dies or is taken. All right. Well, I think I may have just gotten lucky that she didn't die or get taken. Marcus told me Kethrick wanted you captured, not killed. Why? Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite... Some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. Odd X says they buffed Isabel in a patch so that she doesn't die so easily. Oh. Mm. Ah, well, thanks. I'm glad I know. <clears throat> we say, uh, once I take Ketherick's head, you'll be safe again. Or we could say, I'm getting tired of hearing that. Or I'll never get tired of hearing that. Let's try that. Good. Because your work here is only beginning. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. End this. This Ketherick guy, he really hates me for some reason. All right, first Marcus has a slug. Let's go get it. Mind Flayer Parasite Specimen. Shifting Corpus Ring. Grants uh, level two of invisibility and level two of blur. Hmm. Half plate armor. 15 armor. Okay. But it doesn't have the you take one less slashing, one less slashing damage, so not quite as good. Great club plus one. Eh. All right, not that great. And now I'm encumbered. I, I wish I could just pass off dealing with my inventory to somebody else because I, I don't want to deal with it. Send a camp. Can I like... Send a camp. I need to find a merchant. Oh, yeah, I, I still have the poo scraper. <laughs> Flaming fist helmet. So much crap. The hill giant finger. Why did I get that? Anyway, let's just uh, hand some of this over here. Okay. Mind flare parasite. Did you turn? 
why? Who said what? Okay, uh... Conjure a volatile shield around yourself or an ally granting the target 10 temporary hit points. Ooh. I like that. Nice. Winged horrors are not carrying anything. Maybe we should ask. No one but us. Everyone okay? Did anyone die? I don't think anyone actually died. No surprise to find a traitor among the flaming fist. Honor isn't their strong suit. On with you. Unless you want to come back to a gaggle of shadow cursed harpers. I still have a few questions. Go on then. This curse seems incredibly powerful. What more can you tell me about it? It belongs to the goddess Shah. According to the Harpers, it fell here when they defeated Cuthric, the one who tried to have me kidnapped. I suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. Hmm. How did you come to this place? Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Shah and shadow, she's bound to set it to rights, at any cost. Shadowheart have anything to say? No. I don't know much about you. Care to fill in the blanks? I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia, till we're on the other side of this thing. Promise not to die, and we'll celebrate with our life stories. I'm not overly familiar with Saloon and Shar. Could you enlighten me? Moon and shadow. Light and dark. Divine sisters ever at war. And this place has become one more battlefield. Sometimes, life forces us to choose sides. Luckily, sometimes the choice is obvious. And nothing that uh, Shadowheart can say to that. Cat5 says, uh, talk to Roland by the bar. You missed him last uh, time. All right. Maybe we should ask someone else. Who? No one cares. No one but us. Got to get more camp supplies. We'll keep an eye on Isabel. If they send anyone else to snatch her, we'll be there to stop them. To navigate inside this house is. Ah, there we go. And we're down. Okay, so by the bar, you said? Alright, I'll talk to everyone around here. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed one another at the grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one. I heard you were ambushed by the cult. It sounded brutal. Aye. 
Not a battle she's likely to put to song. Maybe we should have just surrendered. Zevlor begged us to. But... They were toying with us. Making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others... Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. <clears throat> what are you doing out here to begin with? You were bound for Baldur's Gate. This army of the Absolute is growing and flowing towards Moonrise. There's worse than goblins on the roads now. I thought we might pass unnoticed along the fringes of this place. Escape the Owlbear by hiding in its shadow, so to speak. You can see exactly how well that went. Ru Ronin on Twitch says, How can you love loot, but not love inventory management? Joking. Man, I like picking things up. Shinies, you know? But I, I don't like having to organize them later. Mm. Don't lose hope. The others might still be alive. Zevlor had hope. It didn't save him. A little sense will serve us better, I think. But... Thanks. It was sweet of you to try. Traitors among us. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel too, I... You should have seen this coming. We were all caught off guard. Let's just focus on defeating Ketherick. Agreed. We must end the threat at Moonrise altogether. With your help, we stand every chance of doing just that. I trust that you will. And who's this? Alfira. First cultists nearly murder us, and now we have a traitor on the inside? Can't we trust anyone? Well, we can pass a half-orc check to say, this anger you feel, this fear, use it. Don't give in to it. My teacher always said emotions are to be felt, not feared. You're right. We can't give in. Not now. Thank you. Uh, maybe we should ask someone else. Who? Perimeter's clear, ma'am. No Good. Cares. We'll no leave soon. But us. And we don't want any surprises. Yes, ma'am. I broke bread with that flaming fist. Little shit. Wade Speakerman gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Wade, and congratulations. To Hunter 5, Lewis Jordan, Kent O'Rourke, T. Gus, and Jonky9. Thanks again, Wade. Julian Z says, Hi, Ox. So good to see you on this Baldur's Thursday. Hope you're well. I'm late, but I'm here catching up at two times speed. Can't Let's wait go, for more already. Phantom Liberty. But we don't even know the way to Moonrise. Thank you, That's Julian Z. I'll be doing now. more Phantom Liberty next Monday. All right, these kids just had one of their own taken, so I wonder what they're going to say. Mo would do the same for any of us. You know it. But how do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. You know what Mo would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. She's probably dead already. Mars resourceful. She'll she'll find her way back. Or you kids stay put. I'll bring Maul home. But it's our job to bring Maul back. Look at him. He's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Maul would be really mad at us. Fine. But you gotta understand, Maul is family. Bring her back, please. Don't worry, kids. I will save her. Okay, well, I don't see this guy that's supposed to be by the bar. Oh, this guy? Roland, yeah. 
We won't even have to go out into the shadows to die now that the cultists have found us. <laughs> it's just drinking. <laughs> oh. If you lay off the liquor, you might be able to help us fight back. Want to talk about your sorrows instead of drowning them? Let's try that. I'd rather drown than talk to a sanctimonious prick like you. Whoa! If you're here to save the day again, you're a little late this time. Damn, dude. Chill out. <laughs> uh, we could say I'm getting tired of having to swoop in and rescue you all. Look, I just want to get out of this cursed hellhole. Or I heard about the attack in the Shadowlands. I'm here to help. Oh, sod off. I'm only here because you helped me and my family. I was ready to cut and run back at the Grove, but you had other ideas. Carl and Leo are taken in by your crap. You convinced them to play hero, and now they're gone. I did, didn't I? Do you know where they are? Dead for all I know. Or in the cult's tower with the others who were taken. They're better off dead than in the cult's hands. If they're alive, I'll rescue them. They're my responsibility. You go save the world. Or your own ass. Or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. Doesn't look like you're doing much, Roland. You're just sitting there getting drunk. But that added a new objective to my quest log. We've got another rescue that we have to do at Moonrise Towers. We can do that. Tara Stow Stowit gave us super tip. Thank you so much. And that's her first. Thank you so much, Tara. Can we take this? Take all the booze. A lot of beer, yeah. A lot of beer. That lot of beer. Got a big old wine down. Just a bottle. Uh oh. Uh, where are you going, Barty Horn? Why? Why are you taking the long way, Barty Horn? What? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? I did not tell you to go upstairs. Party horn. <laughs> He's looting the shelf through the floor. All right. This uh, this inn is a little glitchy, I gotta say. Navigating all these different levels is just a little glitchy. Look, my camera doesn't want to go down when I go downstairs. Come on. There we go. Okay, well, before we leave, uh, there were those guys in the basement. Remember? Now, how do we get to the basement? God. Well, we could go back in here and check on Hells and see if he's learned anything. I've known Marcus for years. To think that he would turn on us, on me. You did well to defend Isabel. Maybe he didn't turn on us of his own volition. Maybe he was coerced into it. Marcus was scum. But the rest of us are loyal to Duke Gravengard. Loyal to Baldur's Gate, I swear it. No more. We need to rouse him. Now this is just the same dialogue tree. Okay. What? Uh, 
Ah, how do I get down? Oh, I gotta get out of here. Right, here we go. No. No. Oh my god. Okay. So when we were down here last time, we found two doors that lead to the same underground chamber some baddies inside. Let's uh, try to kill them. Oh, why are you going that way? Why are you going that way? No! Careful. Those are mean locks. Sake. Their sight works best in darkness. Stay with light, if you can. Thank you, Gail. Sol Invictus! Save Ox says chat. Alright. No matter what, I'm not going to be able to get to him. Soldier. Hi, I mean, it said that I was going to hit it, but I guess not. Teleport, please. Mean lock fear. Dear God, okay. All drooping up, aren't they? Conditions fear aura can possibly frighten nearby beasts and humanoids with its presence. Noble features dark vision, light sensitivity, opportunity attack. Okay. That's a big group. Oh, yeah. I like that. Not worth it. 
Hmm. <clears throat> oh, I couldn't cast that on Karlak? That would have been great. You are an ally cannot be targeted until you harm a creature. I mean, they can't get through here and they're all going to attack her. I should probably cast it on her. While she's blocking the way. Okay, well, what can he do? <laughs> he can do this. Can I get all six of them? No. I can only get five. Okay, well, she's got Sanctuary on her, so she probably shouldn't attack right now. So... Can I go into Rage without losing Sanctuary? Can't be targeted by enemy attacks or spells. Condition ends if the affected entity attacks or harms another creature. Okay. So <laughs> Immune to mean lock fear, nice. All right, I think I'm just gonna stand here for a second. I don't want to get rid of Sanctuary. Ah! Paralyzed? Right? Glyph of Warding. Let's try Thunder, Sleep, Lightning, Fire, Detonation, Cold, Acid. Let's try. Thunder. No. Dry fire. No, I don't want to get Carlac. That uh, provokes an attack of opportunity, but it might be worth it for all these guys to get stuck in there. Mobile. What? Oh, I'm paralyzed, right. Gosh darn it. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, uh, well, if I can do that. Also got my own guys, so probably not the best. Oh. Okay. 
dead, just one left. Did I kill Gale? No, no, no. Oh, it was Gale who's immobile and frightened. Then why couldn't I move Shadowheart? Because she was frightened. Gotcha. He's frightened too. Hmm. He's only got six left. Okay, not bad, not bad. Well, it uh, it, w it better be worth it. Is there anything there? Why can't I loot this? Wow. Okay. Oh, some of these actually have loot. Covert Cowl. While obscured, the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. Oh. I mean, that would be great for Asterion. That one just automatically closes. Swift as my feet can carry me. That's really weird. Yeah. Why are you going? Why are you, why are you taking that way? No, down there. Now up there. Okay, Halfred's note. Hidden Perhaps amidst they had no choice but to hide. Hidden amidst columns detailing the income and expenditure of a tavern is an aside written in tiny urgent handwriting. I have concealed the sacred relics of our revered goddess in the darkest corner of this place. Morfred, my loyal brother, seeks to forge a network of allies to stand against the oppressive reign of Kethric Thorm. Sadly, fear has gripped the hearts of many, turning them away from our cause. I cannot truly blame them, for trepidation fills my soul as well. But I must put aside my own fears and reunite with Morfred in the bowels of the Mason's Guild. Together we shall preserve what we can of the Moon Maiden's light and hope that the banners of the faithful soon rise against that treacherous dog, Thorm. Okay, so he has hidden sacred relics of a goddess in a dark corner. Okay. Investigate the Selenite Resistance. That seems like a dark corner. Last light side entrance key. Selenite prayer book. I believe we've picked one of these up and uh, read them before. Or not. Threads of silver. Dearest saloon, our fair maiden, we have our hearts with threads of silver. Guide us with light of the moon and quench us with the purest of tears. Shadows taunt us. Hear our prayers. Shadows stalk us. Hear our prayer. Shadows wound us. Hear our prayer. Saloon, thou with radiant loom, mend our hearts with threads of silver. Heal us with drops of morning dew and soothe our souls with softest star glow. Oval-framed elven eminence. Portrait of a snowy brown beard. These portraits and paintings intrigue me. Right, well, this is the darkest corner over here.
I can't jump into there. Charmed, I'm sure. I get there. I guess, I guess I can't get there. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Don't be shy. Right. Looking ahead. Oh, hi. Whoops. If not over, then through. Cat5 says, lol, you got everything here, Ox. Oroboro says, Oxhorn, it's another location. The Mason's Guild. Not here. Oh, okay. So all of that for a note. Mm. Oh, well. Cat5 says, follow the Harpers on the bridge. Okay. Seek protection from the Shadow Curse. Speak to the Harpers outside Last Light. Okay, so that bridge? Not this bridge. All right. Finished. I don't think I talked to these guys. Let's go say hi real quick. I thought we were safe here. More fool me. We need to end this quickly before the shadows break through again. Short rest if you can, says Pavel. All right. Oh, I'll feel that one later. This new Marcus was a snake. <laughs> he did well to knock the light out of him. Let's do a hard save. You mean to reach Moonrise? And I've orders to help you. The path to the towers is drenched in blackness so deep even a torch cannot quell it. Yet, the cultists have found a way to move freely. Whatever this method, you must claim it. A cultist convoy crosses the land as we speak. I've readied an ambush. Say the word, and we fly. Ooh. Shouldn't Isabel's blessing keep me safe? 
Isabel's blessing is a palliative, not a cure. Some shadows even her magic can't counter. Let's take on that convoy. You lead, I follow. Splendid. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Harper's with me. Stray no more than an arm's length from your course. Thank you, Preston. Keep steady. We're closing in. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of dead people. Should I go back and loot them after this? Perfect spot for an ambush. Get into position. For a good meal. Yeah. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. I have a lot on my mind. Um, well, in it. Cat Five says you can talk your way out of several fights here. All right. Can't give up now. Okay, what are we waiting for? This is an ambush, right? Ooh. Can't slow down. I picked up a key. Your followers are legion. Go. We'll wait for your signal. Your faith will stand ready, Majesty. Soon we march. Soon the world will bow to you. Here, where boss? Something moved up there. Want me to drag it out? Hmm. We could clear our throat to make ourselves known. We could stay hidden and keep watching, or signal the Harper to attack. Let's stay hidden and keep watching. Stay in the light! They do not go into the dark! I didn't figure something as big and ugly as you for a coward! No! They will not go into the dark! <laughs> Stop! They will not become shadow! They will not feed the curse! Forgive me, my queen, but I had to! Before the dark got any stronger. Oh god, this guy's crazy. <laughs> uh, we could pass a stealth check to try and fade into the background until they pass. We could signal the Harpers to attack or emerge from the shadows and attack. Let's clear our throat and make ourselves known. Because chat says this is how I can use my bard abilities. What's this? The Drider's eyes cut through the darkness, locking on you as your parasite squirms with excitement. Your minds connect, and you hear a voice whispering to you. The Absolute, 
or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the darkness? I'm one of your true souls, my queen. How have they survived? We can pass a bar check to say, you know what they say, a ballad a day keeps the darkness away. To make the darkness quiver with mere song. You must have blessed them, my queen. But if so, where is their lantern? We can pass a bard and deception check to say, Our wondrous queen dropped me a message. She said you need to give me that lantern. It's very important. Ooh, yay, I get loot. But I gotta pass a 14. Thankfully, I've got two die rolls here. Barely, barely. <laughs> Pavel says if you had used Mountain Pass instead of Grim Forge Lift, you would find this convoy to Moonrise first. Can join it, and we'll get into this ambush as part of it. Still can choose the side you want to fight. Interesting. That's interesting. I kind of wish I had done that. Thank you, Pavel. Majesty, is, is this true? Did I not serve you well? <laughs> Very well. If it is your will, we can have it! Whoa, he, he really likes that light. He didn't want to give it up. Uh, we could say, so how does this work exactly? But that might tip him off. <laughs> to our deception. Uh, we'll say, okay, good, you may go now. We can't go without you. The shadows will tear us to pieces. This is not Her Majesty's will. Whoopsie, wrong choice. We can pass a bard and deception check, which uh, gives me plus three from charisma, one from jack of all trades, and one d4 from guidance, or an intimidation check, which is... Three from Charisma, three from Intimidation Proficiency, and one D4. So we'll pass the Intimidation check to say the Absolute wants you to go. Now. Fourteen again. Come on! I'm gonna use an inspiration to roll again. Come on! Uh, better than nothing, I'll take it. If it is a majesty's will. You can't be serious. You know what's out there. If it is her majesty's will, then we shall walk! She will protect us. She... She must. I think we're gonna get these guys all killed. Well, bye guys, you're done. <laughs> I'd never believe it if I hadn't just seen it. Nicely done. <laughs> now let's see what we've got here. <laughs> oh, they were all impressed by that. What did we get? Where is it? Where's the little lantern? Light in the darkness. A thousand more to conquer. As very least, for every beast we slay, the shadows fall too. God, why so glum? We hit the cult where it hurts. A victory is a victory. Our heads are intact, and that's worth celebrating. Moon Lantern. There's Brawler Vez. The cultists will soon Rotten eggs. If they Goblin don't already, scimitar. If they come, we Lantern. Fight. That's the way of it. Alchemist's fire, smoke powder bomb. Okay. What's that? Inventory and equipment. Oh. Where's the 
the mountain gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. Incredible magic. I can feel the light lifting the shadows, even those within me. Be safe and be brave. We expect no less. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. These fey creatures are infamous for their trickery. Sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. Oh, please! Oh, golly! Me, oh, my! You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. We can pass a bar check to say, legends tell of the fate, uh, the fate trapping people, not the other way around. Why are you in here? My pixie dust is bright as day. My injuries can light the way. Hmm, quite clever. And cruel, of course, but creatively so. <laughs> She's kind of impressed. Who are you? My name, my name is Dolly Thrice. Now won't you free me from this vice? So Dolly Dolly Dolly, that's her name. I love it. Um What is the mechanism at the base of this lantern? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. We can release the spirit, one, turn the mechanism, two, smash the lantern on the ground, three, or ignore the pixie. I'll be needing this lamp. Right. Well, I don't think we should smash it. That doesn't do anyone any favors. Uh, turning the mechanism, I'm guessing that just kills the pixie inside. So we don't want to do that. We can release it or use it. What do you think, chat? I mean, I feel bad having a pixie trapped here imprisoned. But if it really is a, an evil pixie, if I release it, will it attack me? Let her out, says the chat. All right. We'll let her out. Finally! Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own fart for company. Ew. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Well, uh. I need to get through this shadow curse. Can you help me? Sure, I can. But will I? Yeah, sure, why not? Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Curious little thing. It's I didn't say it a shame with that mouth. Filigreed Feywild Bell. A filigreed Fail wild bell. What the? Philly greed, fey wild bell. This ornately decorated bell, tarnished with age, rings with a mischievous giggle, not unlike its pixie enchanter. Uh, do I have to equip it? Is it a consumable? Let me. Cat5 says, Congrats, Ox. You can go just about anywhere now. That's great. Let me uh, see what happens if you use it. Been blessed already, haven't you? Move on with your life. Oh, it summons the pixie to talk to it. Okay. Great. So I just have to have it in my inventory. And the Harpers—they left apparently. All right. I found a key on the roof. I wonder what the key is for. 
a wooden chest. There we go. Used key. Hammer Grim Mist Amulet. Uh, fog Cloud level, level 1 Conjuration Spell. So, it's okay. Uh, Alright, I'm curious about the corpses that we passed. On the way here, let's go back and loot them. Ooh. Cat5 says, before you go exploring, could you go save Roland? Where's Roland? Wake up Art Kulag. Infiltrate Moonrise Towers. Rescue the Tieflings. Hey, there's the Mason's Guild. That's the building that we read about on the note. He's south, says, says Cat5. So down there, along the edge. So, so this one right here? Well, I mean, I have to go through all of this, right? To get to there. So wouldn't it make more sense to explore everything we've passed through before going all the way down there? So he's not marked, is what you're saying. Pavel is giving me X, Y coordinates. Right. Th thank you, Pavel. That's not really helpful to me. I, I don't, I don't see numbers on here. But he's on your side of the river currently, I believe. Says Elliot. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go save Roland. Um, but I'm already, I just discovered a waypoint and uh, there's some corpses here that I want to. He's on this side of the last bridge, says Cat5, okay. That's curious. Gray Scout's journal. Uh, crappin' near in his crappin' scouting tasks. You, Dwegar, find another way through the Shadow Curse. Sure, right, crappin' near. Whoever laid this curse knew their business a lot better than you do. What was that? Gnomes, gnomes, I killed you in the Underdark. You can't be. <laughs> I found your way through the curse, crappin' near. The way through the Shadow Curse is to let the curse go through you. Ha 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 ha. Elixir, elixir, pearl, gold. Cat5 says, I'm only pushing this because there's a time limit. It's a timed quest. Oh, dear God. All right. I guess, uh, I guess uh, that's what we'll do. We'll go south. Follow the water.
Jesus. So we're bypassing a lot of stuff here. Just follow the edge all the way south, says Chad. All right, I um, guess I'll do that and then we'll come back and see everything that we would have missed. That's north and south, so we actually need to go this way. We're going the wrong way. It's going to take us right through that hut. We want to avoid that for now because there are enemies inside waiting for us. So we'll go around. His camera's covering the minimap, but he can see it. Oh. Pavel says, look on the minimap under face cam. X, negative 54. Y, negative 111. Oh. Negative 50. Okay. Well, I'm just going to continue to follow this. I think. I'm at negative 48, negative 51. Dead Githyanki, letter of surrender, and a skeleton. What have we found? <clears throat> uh, Jeff Day says, I'm really enjoying the Baldur's playthrough. Keep up the great work. And being the best professional streamer rocks. Thank you, Jeff Day. Next bridge, says Cat5. Next bridge? This one down there? Okay. So I need to get through here. Letter of Surrender. General Kethrick Thorm, it is with heavy heart that I must announce the surrender of the Harper forces and its allies to your dark Justicar army under unanimous agreement. Harpers work against villainy and wickedness wherever they find it. So states our code, and so here have we acted. But I also know all too well how the statement continues, but they work ever mindful of the consequences of what they do. We cannot be party to the suffering of the people of Wraithwind and indeed of the great loss of life that this war will visit upon the Sword Coast, and perhaps beyond it. So it is written, and so let it be done. Kelbin Arunson, on behalf of the High Harper Council and its allies, two words are slashed across the bottom of the scroll, Surrender Decline. Dead Githyanki. Githyanki short sword and an inscribed Githyanki slate. A map has been etched onto this intricate disc. The risen road winds through a mountain pass. Within the hills is nestled a sizable temple. Within the temple, a Githyanki pe the Githyanki people have established a stronghold. Pictographs reveal their mission to retrieve a polyhedric relic on behalf of the Githyanki Queen. 
Alright. Stuff we've already learned. There's a rusty crossbow on the other side of that, but I probably can't pass that. Anyway, we need to go down here. This is where the next bridge is gonna be. Shadow Visage. A dark Justicar mask. Inquisitor Verizon Ranlock. Investigation notes. Intimidation plus one. Worn by Shar's most loyal zealots, the mere sight of it strikes fear in the heart of even the bravest souls. The ledger is filled with tight, precise handwriting that seems to suggest a focused, analytical mind. A fresh lead has been volunteered by one of the guests in the dungeons. Praise Lady Shar for inspiring the inventor of thumbscrews. The guest spoke of an abandoned house, see map coordinates included, that was once said to belong to a potter, but is now being used as a clandestine place of worship for Selunite holdouts and their sympathizers. There is a chance, of course, that the guest offered up false information in a bid to end his suffering, but I suspect not. His confession had the ragged, unpolished air of truth to it. I shall endeavor to investigate at once, and... Cautiously, best if I'm not seen, and should I find any cellulite idols or texts, I can summon reinforcements and lay a trap. Oh, what a joy it shall be to see their faces when they are caught in the act and surrounded by dark cloaks. Verzen Ranlock Inquisitor to the Church of Lady Shar. Investigate the cellulite resistance. That should mark it on my map, right? Investigate the Selenite resistance. Is it not mapped? Oh man. So I gotta find a potter's hut. Okay, I'm I'm failing all sorts of saves here. Oh. Oil of Accuracy, Elixir, Drow Poison. Nice. Is that wrong? Idiot. Come on. Miss. She is 
so bad with her bow. Resistances to slashing, piercing, bludgeoning, acid, thunder, immune to necrotic, fire, lightning, ice, immune to poison, vulnerable to radiant. Okay. Have any radiant spells on him? No, not really. Okay, so we'll just do. Shadow Heart, she has the spells I need, but she's way over here. So I'm going to. Dash. And that gets me down here at least. happens if I cast light on him? Target must be an item. So I can't cast it on him. Okay, uh, let's try my bow. It seemed to do pretty good last time I used it on him. I can do nothing right! Not a damn thing! Please tell me you weren't looking for Moonrise. So what if I was? Cal and Leah could be there. Instead, I found myself cornered by shadow fiends and in need of rescue from you, of all bloody people. <laughs> You're welcome. Shut up and be grateful I saved your sorry tale. Should I have left you to die? Or you were trying to help your family? You're too hard on yourself. Or not hard enough. I failed Cal and Leah again. Be on your way. I'll return to last light. I know when I'm outmatched. Okay, we didn't find his corpse lying out here. Hooray, we saved him. Thank you, Cat5. Right. Another Shadow Cursed Raven. Are those the things I'm not supposed to loot? She was a healer, trying to aid the wounded in the battle against the Sharans. There were so many. He 
sensed that this one was once a fisherman, taught by his father. These are fine, says Cat5. All right, I'm going to loot the raven. You sense a faded memory of marching in an army against Catherick Thorn. Victory seemed possible then. have seen everything. Crystal, a silk gland, and money. Cat5 says, and Ox, you can get past all the shadows now. That's why you got the pixie thing. All right. Nice. A gloom strand shield. Stealth plus one and plus two to armor class. Interesting. Though I don't think it would be very good for my cleric. She's got a better one. Okay, so this is gonna lead me towards all of my quest destinations. Moonrise Towers. But in order to save to save him, I uh, skipped a bunch. So we're gonna backtrack a little bit to see everything that we skipped. And then we can come across that shadow later. There was an ambush. Ooh, wooden chest, hello. see an old boot balanced upside down on a cobbler's knee as he taps the final nail into the new soul. Could it's new? Okay, this is the second bridge. chest. Loot, loot, loot. Okay, this is bringing us down to the water. Why? You get down there. Ah, the next bridge. Let's see. Ooh, is this the Potter's Hut?
Ah. I mean, there's lots of pots in here. <clears throat> Harper interrogation transcript. Official interrogation transcript. Harper in charge, Caladove Everspring. Transcriber, Luna Shorn. C.E. Your name? Doll. Doll Timber, ma'am. Occupation? Farmer, ma'am. Potatoes. A farmer. Hmm. How many guards has Thorm stationed at the South Wall, Doll Timber? What do you mean, South Wall? Do not play the fool with me, Timber! The Moonrise South Wall! I, I don't know, I swear it. Liar! Write this down, Luna. Thorm's spy refuses to cooperate. Harsher measures required. I said write it down! Traveler's chest. It's locked. Ring of Twilight. Treader by Twilight, you gain a plus one bonus to armor class while obscured. Wow, we're getting all sorts of wonderful rogue stuff. Damaged pillar. Okay, well, if this is the potter's hut. I'm not seeing a lot here. I mean, there's clearly chains and a skeleton. Poor guy was interrogated here, but that's about it. But I can't target that. Ah. Here was the trap. So, what's the best way to spring this trap? Sixty-eight health, a measle. We've got four of them. Let's do a quick save. Dark vision, opportunity attack, resistance is none. Okay. This must be the, the potter's shack. Well. Still breathing, despite everything.
Gail's the only one who didn't one join me. Weave. Because there's not enough room. Is that blood? No, never mind. At the ready. Now, now she can't do it. I really want this to work. I've used this trap twice now, and it's never triggered. Oh, there we go, it triggered, yay. <laughs> okay, uh, <clears throat> gaping wounds, armor class, Push it back six meters. Nice. Down it goes. Time for some bloody work. Back up. Okay, well, probably shouldn't have brought her up here since I want to do melee damage with her. But she can still use her bow. That's only a 65%. Until your next turn, you have advantage on attack rolls. Melee. Roll range damage twice and use the highest result. Yeah, let's use that. I should have done this first. Ah! All right, Gail, do your thing. Let's see, we've got two down there. I'm just loving Fireball. Why disadvantage? It's too dark.
Does that effect not have a sound effect? Because we surprised them, we've got a lot of attacks in here. Okay, uh... They haven't moved... ...in a while, so I wonder if this is gonna be worth it. Shadow teleport, no! Frenzied Strike, that's a bonus action. Reckless Attack. We've already got a 65. Don't want to get Karlak. Okay, I almost, uh, I did a little bit. I'm gonna step back a little bit. Now flank, now smart. Grab me and teleport me away? I guess it must have.
Oh, come on. Miss. did teleport me away. That's creepy. Why do you guys keep doing this? Well, I gotta go all the way back. Jeez. Well, we've only got one left. I can't get to him up there, can I? you down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Where is Shadowheart? What are you doing over here? Nope. Rope and gold. What an interesting ability to just teleport you out of the fight so it can have its way with you. Golden rope. Huh, they all have golden rope. Seek and you shall find me. Oh, 
Okay, was that all of them? I think that was all of them. Still alive. So that's progress. Road dusty gray clothes, a brimmed hat, and casual sandals. Don't even know if these are going to be worth it. Yeah, just cosmetic stuff. Potter's chest. Another step forward. Hmm. There's a room down there. Not enough space. There we go. again. Luminous gloves. Radiating orb gloves. When the wearer deals radiant damage, the target receives two turns of radiating orb. Plus one to strength saving th throws. Idol of Saloon. And a note. Moon Maiden, protect those of us who would not turn from you, no matter the consequences in this short life. Keep these artifacts of our devotion until such a time as we may openly infuse our spirits with your white light once more. Grant cunning to my brother Halfred in his efforts to conceal the rest of your relics. Let the name Last Light not be a portent. Let your moon glow continue forever and fill our hearts. Uh, journal updated with that. Okay, see if we can get down here without hurting ourselves. Only just now. Guess I got a misty step this. I'm gonna quick save before I do. Hmm. 
It's telling me not enough space. I'm wondering if there's another way in. There's got to be a way I can get down there. There's got to be. Do I have to be standing over here? Do I have to teleport from that side? Or from over here, maybe? That's too far. If I'm standing there, would I be able to misty step over there? Let's try it. It's too far. Oh, okay, now that I'm closer, Looks like it's just filled in with rubble. Okay. I don't think there's anything down there. I don't think we can get in there. Okay, we, we've explored this coast area. We need to explore that, and we need to explore that. I don't, wait, that's where we laid the trap, right? Did we explore that? Yeah, this is where we laid the trap. So we have explored this. Okay, but we haven't been to this side over here. Or here. Journal log of True Soul Corliss. <coughs> Day four, scouting mission dispatched by Kethrick Thorne to Shadowlands. Objective, locate nest of absolute non-believers. Reached outskirts of village, disturbing sounds echo throughout the shadows, must evade pursuit. Preparing to create a light barrier for protection against lurking monsters and deadly darkness. May the absolute guide me. Well, that explains the magic standing torches. But it didn't work. There he is. True soul Corliss. Here are the bodies. 
Dear God. Longbow, great sword. Prison key, storage key. Scale mail, great axe. Shield, scale mail, long sword. A hand crossbow. But it does less damage than what I've currently got. A worn key. Gosh, we are getting all the keys. Okay, so I think we went that way. So we came from that way. Camp in the Shadow Cursed Lands. Do we camp anywhere? There's the Shadowed Battlefield, a quest objective. And then everything else is on the other side of the river. Well... I suppose we should explore the eastern side before we go to the western side. So let's go to the Shadowed Battlefield. Laura says, uh, speak to the dead after looting. Oh yeah, good idea. Who do you think was the leader? Level one, level one, level three, level one, level three, level five, dead cultist. Retchel, level one, Zeph, level one, M Memnos, level three. Oh, we've got a little level five dead cultist. In the corpse does not respond. Well, that was a waste. Quick save. Wait, this is going back towards. No! Got it. I'm getting all turned around. We need to go east. Just die? Oh no, that was the guy. Okay, yeah. Never mind. A wooden chest.
Yearning for the moon. So much has changed in our fair town. The moon used to shine so brightly here. We'd all stand out, our shoulders bared, our faces upturned, drinking in her blessings like milk. Such darkness now. I must watch the moon in secret from my window or late at night when the town's asleep. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the last sane person left in Rythwin. Okay, that leads to the shadowed battlefield. We're looking right over it. I gotta explore the outhouse. You see an outhouse in a video game, you've got to explore the outhouse. Oh man. Hey, dirty toilet seat. <laughs> well, what? I guess what did I expect? Really? What well, I guess what did I expect? Of course. Of course. Party horn, you just do your business. Close that. Oh, I can't close it on myself. Okay, well. We did our business in the Shadowlands. Check that off the bucket list. So this guy keeps dying over and over again. <laughs> uh, every time I pass by, he dies again. Okay, there's the ancient sigil and this is gonna be our path up. To the shadowed battlefield. But that's just a fast travel marker. But we can explore what's in the black over here. Uh oh. Okay, we've got another dead Githyanki warrior here. Ooh. She was no fun. All I wanted was to play! Hear a creepy child in the darkness. Do you keep walking or do you turn around? If you were smart, you'd turn around, but that's not what we're gonna do, is it? I promise. Maybe they want to play. <laughs> Oliver. Boo! I scared you. I saw it. Nobody beats me at hide and seek. Will you play with me? Okay. I can pass a bar check to say, I can play you a little song, would you like that? Not that kind of playing, silly. I want to play a game. It'll be really fun. Let me show you. In, in a moment, maybe. Have you seen another little boy? His name is Thaniel. 
I don't know anyone called that. Don't ask me again. Now play with me. Shout is saying save. Okay. Saved. Don't you have anyone else to play with? I have a mummy, a daddy, and a doggy. They'll be back in a while, but you're here now, and I want to play. What are your parents' names? Maybe I can find them. They don't need names. They just need to be mummy and daddy and do what I want. Now play with me, or they'll be angry with you. The boy doesn't like these questions because he has no real answers and perhaps no real family. Face facts, kids. Your family's dead. And you might be too. Um, we already asked about Thaniel. We could say, sorry, I don't think they're coming back. Want to come to my camp? This is a little creepy. I'm not going anywhere. I like it here. Now play with me or else. You want to play? Fine. All right. I'll hide and you seek. Find me and you win. Oh, okay. And if I don't find you? Then you lose. <laughs> All right, let's begin. Get ready. And no cheating. smarter than some playmates I've had. They always tried to leave before I was done with them. Try to find me again, but my family will be looking for you at the same time, so don't get caught! Oh no. Have to keep going. Crap. Free for the taking. Oh. Daddy. Strongest daddy ever. Mummy. Best mummy ever. Hide ox, says chat. Really? Okay. Doggy. One percent and advantage. Time to push my luck again.
72 disadvantage. 72 disadvantage. Aura of Vile Oblivion. Forty nine. Why did that go down? All nearby light sources get extinguished when the wraith is nearby. Ooh. Immune to poison, resistant to cold, immune to necrotic, resistant to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Can't be shoved, thrown. Automatically attack an enemy with, okay, sunlight sensitivity. Okay. But it, it, it extinguishes all lights. Sorry, Carlac. Acid, thunder, fire, lightning, ice, jeez. Poison, necrotic. That's, <laughs> that's everything. That's everything he can do. Except for that. That's force. Dog is right there. Eighty-four. <laughs> Daddy's lecture. Okay. Well, we got this guy down to half. but I should probably save it for Lightning, 
He is resistant to all of this. Uh, Cat5 says, load the last save, Ox. You kinda don't want the kid mad at you. Yeah, but how do I avoid them finding me? Chad is telling me to load a save. Really? Alright. Uh. Okay. I don't want the kid mad at me, huh? All right. But how do I avoid mommy and daddy finding me? That That's the thing. Level Lost says you only need one character. Oh. Follow Thaniel around. Well, I did, but he ran right towards mommy. She was no fun. All I wanted was to play. Someone's coming. Someone. Boo! Will you play with me? Not that kind of playing, silly. I want to play a game. It'll be I have a mummy, a daddy, and a doggy. They'll be back in a... They don't need... The boy doesn't like these questions because he has no real answers. And perhaps... He's not special. He's nothing. You shouldn't say that name. Forget you ever heard it. Okay. All right. I'll hide. And you seek. Find me, and you win. Get ready, and no cheating. Right, well, I don't know how to do the second one. I mean, I could move most of my team away. Let me work my magic. May it please, Mistra. What a charmer. To make it easier. If you insist. What's next, I wonder? I'll go this way. What to do? With haste. You weren't supposed to find me. You weren't supposed to win. See what he says if we say, don't be a sore loser. You're not my daddy. Don't tell me what to do. Let's play another game. I deserve a chance to even the score. Let's play. Try to find me again, but my family will be looking for you at the same time. So don't get caught. Okay, last time when I went up here, I was immediately seen, even though he was looking that way. I could try and hide behind this tree. I can't go this way, because Mummy is right over here. I can't go around this tree. Could try to go up there. Get in the building, says Cat Five. Really? These boots have seen everything.
sweat. Snake, snake. Secrecy above all. Onward. Pocket him. <laughs> I can pickpocket him. Pass without a trace. Just talk, says Chad. Trying to. I guess I have to wait for Oliver to get to his final spot. I think I have to wait for him to stop. I can't talk to him mid-stride. Levelocked says, don't stand up. Yeah, I was, I was trying to talk to him. When I was crouched, I was stealing from him, which chat said was not a good idea. Direct me. Okay. Of course. Attention. Let's get them All out right. of the picture. What's next? I'll take this way. I've got a long road ahead. What do you mean you won? Good idea. You're smarter than some playmates I've had. They always tried to leave before I was done with them. Try to find me again, but my family will be looking for you at the same time, so don't get caught. What did he mean he won? All right, time to skunk him out. Okay, well, uh. Never wanted the easy path. Chad says go in the building, we're gonna go in the building. What now? Careful okay, there's now. the boy. I can't get seen by the mom or by dad. I think I can get here. Best be on my way. Okay, it says pickpocket again. So I'm right next to him, but I can't talk to him. Oh! You're good at this. Are you sure you didn't cheat? But I can't let you think me a bad sport. Here's your prize. 
So need it. Reward! We managed to beat Oliver at his own game. He gave us a prize, and it was the ring that I could have pickpocketed off of his inventory. <laughs> Pass without a trace. Level 2 abjuration spell. For some, darkness is wielded like a black opal stud embedded in a signet ring, fashioned to a sharpened, unforgiving point. Okay. Assuming mummy and daddy are gone now. So all I get from that is a ring. Not back to glow, are you? Nobody likes a bad winner. I still think you might have tricked me. If you did, I'll figure it out. That's it, huh? Okay. Well, we've got a dead Githyanki warrior. Harry Mason on Twitch says it's part of a larger quest, but it's better to have done this now to avoid bugs. Ah, I see. Okay. That makes sense. Thanks. Don Badubin on Twitch says it speaks a lot about your character that you didn't pickpocket the child. <laughs> I would have felt bad. It was a kid but then again he is playing tricks and sending mummy and daddy after me so I guess I wouldn't have felt that bad ring of mental inhibition when a foe fails a saving throw against one of your spells or actions they get mental fatigue for two turns that's pretty cool stuffed owl bear toy hey Pavel says, if a corpse glows, you can use speak with the dead. Oh, like this? Oh. I see. Okay. I didn't realize that. Thank you for letting me know. Breathe deep and move. Did we go up here? Oh, I don't know if we did. I don't think we have been up there. Okay, so we need to go around and check out what those uh, dead Harpers are. Lore located in the desk, says chat. Oh, okay. Broken cupboard. Uh, I can't loot the chest. Is there another? Oh, this desk. Ah, I see. Diary. Ooh. Dear Diary, day one. Nothing ever happens in this town. I'm ready to go to the gate. If mother won't let me, I'll run away myself. She says my lungs are too weak for the smoke. But how am I living at all when all I do is milk the Roth?
what is that? What is milking the Roth? Is that like a creature? Is... What? Day seven. Ha! A strange fog is descending over our town. Hasn't left in days. Getting hard to breathe. Mother is eating her words, saying we should head out to the city to stay for a while until it lifts. We go at dawn. Day 14. We tried to leave, but there are creatures from beyond the grave skulking around the outskirts of our land. It's too late. Day 21. The Roth are all possessed, knocking down their fence, battling and bashing one another to death, dying, then fighting again. The shadows are everyone right outside our window. I can't see more than a few strides out. Day 28. I'm not dead yet, but I'm going to die here, aren't I? I can hardly breathe. Why does it not get into our house? Why doesn't the curse take us already? Day 35. I can't stand this. I've been trying to write a me memoir of myself, but it's still no good. I'm too weak to pen fine words. I'm going to die unremembered, be what may. It's getting pointless to cower in here. There's nothing we can do about this all-encroaching dark. Tomorrow, I will walk out into the fog, and I will laugh. With love, a farmhand forever to be unknown. Poor Oliver, and I stole his stuffed owl bear. Okay. of the Shadow Curse. Utterly fascinating. Unless you happen to be standing on it, of course. failed a perception check there. Hmm. Yeah! You are surprised! Very much so! Oh God. <laughs> shadow curse vine blight. Uh, shadow curse needle blight. Eat it. 
Okay, well, they take damage well. <laughs> Holy crap! This guy's almost dead thanks to Carlac. Nice. Of whip. Oh, lots of guys. Lots of little ones. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, whose turn is it? What is going on? What the? Why? I must heal. Jeez, what 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 just happened? Why did it skip Gale and Shadowheart? It completely skipped their turns. Like it was Gale's turn and then it just skipped both Gale and Shadowheart. And then something happened where there was tons of damage everywhere. Okay. Uh, Then one of them dies, it explodes in a bunch of needles. Okay. Wow. They go down, but they're nasty. Nasty, nasty. Those two get resurrected. Shadow cursed undead. <laughs> 42. Oh, man. Immune to lightning, resistant to fire, necrotic, and cold.
That leaves Thunder. Uh, and Force. That's it. I could probably take him out. Right, 81%. Forty two percent. Did I did I miss? Did that did I miss? Oh, I broke his concentration. Okay. Nice. My turn. and a 70% and I missed both? Didn't blow. It didn't blow. Okay. Heading then. Can't get there. I'm I'm entangled. 
too heavy to throw. I could throw out the torch. I don't really need it anymore. Nah. Okay, he's got one health left. Well, that was a surprise and not a welcome one, dear lord. Putrefied tumor, an alchemical ingredient. Yuck. Another key. We are finding all sorts of keys. And look at that. Ring of self immolation. Why would I want to set myself on fire? Every one of the three gems in this ring is searing hot, enough to burn yourself with the slightest brush of your fingers. Well, golly, I'm glad I got that. <laughs> I don't want to set myself on fire. All right. Well, that was awful. That was something, something awful. Well, chat says I need to do a long rest, and it's been a while since I've chatted with anyone in my party, so I think I'll do that. Let's go to camp, and let's do a long rest. Okay, anyone got something to say to me? 
If death is soon to take Karlak, she should make every moment as rich as the last. Fight viciously, roar loudly, step boldly. She must make herself known. Aha! Okay. How beautiful it must be to know you can hold a hand, caress a cheek after going so long without. We'll get Karlak fixed up, right? There's always a way. There has to be. The cultists have taken your father to Moonrise Towers. Florix confirmed it. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at Moonrise. Can we trust Florix? I was 11 when the Counselor spotted and slayed an assassin who stalked Father from the shadows. I was 13 when she brought word of a goblin warband advancing on Rivington. Her keen scouting saved a hundred lives that day. The Counselor's loyalty to my father is beyond question. She's as steady as Tear's heartbeat, as upstanding as the Sword Mountains. Father's at Moonrise Towers, and we need to save him. The cult must have some reason for taking your father, but what? They want violence, they want control, they want Baldur's Gate. Who better than Grand Duke Ravenguard to surrender it? Who better than the commander of the Flaming Fist to dismantle its defenses? They will infect him, and the city's guardian will become its ruin, unless we put a stop to it. To Moonrise, then. We can't let the Absolute take Grand Duke Ravenguard. We can't and we won't. The shadows be damned. But if I talk to her, she's gonna wanna go to bed. <laughs> but I don't wanna do that just yet. I think we already talked to Shadowheart. Let's see if there's anything new. Well, my day just improved. Did you want something? No. Nothing new. I know well the pain of seeing your life's hourglass running empty. Grasping at any means of slowing the grains as they slip inexorably through your fingers. Karlak's fate may be ordained, but her actions are not. She will make each breath count. We can be sure of that. Well said, Gail. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Nothing new from him. Was that it, Gale, or did you have something else? How can I help? Nothing. Okay. Time for a nap. <laughs> uh, someone in camp wishes... Okay, can I... Can I talk to her without... Moving forward with choosing her as my permanent romantic companion. Or did she have something else to talk about? Hey, soldier. I thought I might come visit you later. When everyone's asleep. Um. See, this is why I wanted to avoid it. We don't have an option to say, not right now. We can say, of course you can, but you should know I may not want to cross certain lines physically, or I'm not sure, Karlak. I think maybe this has gone far enough. So I'm going to load the quick save that I just made. Cat5 says it's okay to pick her. I know, and I want to pick her, but I'm also curious as to what the other... Um, romance options are like and if I go with her now even when I unlock the others in the future I won't be able to explore those dialogue options which I'd kind of like to do so I kind of want to advance the other characters first and then make my decision afterwards
Okay, let's auto select. Then we gotta get rid of three. That's a lot. No cutscene. Avaro says, hey Ox, good to see you this morning. Can you give a shout out to my special little Holly who makes me more jolly than if I had Molly? Absolutely. Shout out to Holly who makes Avaro jolly. <laughs> okay. Let me do a hard save here. And the exclamation mark is not above her head anymore, so did I miss my opportunity? What are you thinking about? I think we did. We no longer have the opportunity. You got your second upgrade. How does it feel? Incredible. Like I'm really alive. Like we can finally be real. I can be close to you now without fear, without thinking too hard. We can just be. You've earned it after all you've endured. No more than anyone else. Well, maybe slightly more. But that's the past now. I'm free. More free than I've ever been now. I've never been more excited for anything in my life. I was hoping you'd say that. Huh. Is romance still on the table? I'm not sure. It's morning. The romance dialogue is only available in the evening, says Pavel. Ah, okay. Well, uh, great. I'm gonna, I think that's it. I'm out of time, so we'll end it there. Thanks for joining me today for Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, I've been having a really uh, great time exploring these shadowed lands. I've been grateful for all of your help and you guys watching my back every step of the way. Uh, but I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because I feel more freedom to fully use my character and my party and explore the area, but uh, it's easier to navigate. It just makes more sense. I'm really enjoying uh, exploring the Shadowed Lands. <clears throat> so we'll pick up with uh, more Baldur's Gate next week on Wednesday uh, between 9 and 10 o'clock a.m. But tonight, Scotch and Smoke Rings. An hour-long Q&A. You've got questions, I've got answers, and then we'll dive right back into System Shock. I'm going to go take a little bit of rest, uh, meet the kids at the bus stop, get some dinner and everybody, and then I'll see you later tonight with Scotch and Smoke Rings at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific. You don't want to miss it. Thanks, everybody, for joining me, and I'll see you soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.